All right, hello. Uh, my name is Carl, uh, and this is uh, work with Hamed Pershavash and Antonio Toralba. Um, so in, in this work, we're interested in trying to learn to make uh, high-level semantic predictions in the immediate future, um, such as someone's action or what object they're going to see. Uh, so for example, uh, you know, in, in this frame, you might intuit that these two people are going to about, about to hug, or that uh, this man and woman are about to kiss, or even that they are going to handshake soon. Um, and so we think that predictive vision is an interesting research problem for a couple of reasons. Um, for, firstly, there are many different applications that are uh, important, such as in human robotic interaction, action planning, even in healthcare. Um, and secondly, uh, some people even argue that predictive ability is one measure of, of intelligence. <clears throat> However, prediction is a very hard task. Um, sometimes something unexpected can, can happen, right? This person enters the scene with, um, and changes, your, changes what prediction might ha ha happen. And even some scenes are just ambiguous, um, and so you cannot predict, right, what is going to ha happen here. <laughs> So even though this is a, a hard, hard task, uh, what is really interesting is that humans have some ba basic intuition as to what's going to happen in the future. Um, and so we, we took scenes much like these, uh, and we showed them to uh, a couple of people in our lab, and we asked them to anticipate which of the four actions they think is going to ha happen in one second. And so it turns out that humans are much better than chance. They're not perfect, they don't solve the task, uh, but they are, are better than chance. Um, and so we were interested in building a machine that can also predict the, the future. Um, and this, this is very hard for machines. And so what we want to do is we want to leverage uh, lots of da data. So what, 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 we, what we seek to do is uh, use large amounts of unlabeled video that we can download off the web. Um, so the, the challenge of using unlabeled video is obviously that you lack, you lack any semantic labels, uh, but the advantage is that you can obtain large amount, uh, amounts of them for free, and they already contain the temporal ordering of frames. So even once you download this, this video, what should you try to predict? Um, a couple of, of previous works using unlabeled video have tried to, tried to predict uh, raw pixels or, or, or motions. Um, but these are very ch challenging and perhaps even unnecessary if you want to make a high level prediction. Uh, there has been previous work on trying to make uh, high level predictions be before, uh, but these have typically required lots of labeled data, uh, which is expensive to scale. Um, so the question is, is there something in between pixels and, and, and labels? So what, what we propose to do is to predict the visual representation of frames in the future. Um, so visual representations have the advantage that uh, they encode high level information about the image, but they're also automatic to compute. Um, and several uh, work has, has, has empirically shown that these representations excel in many, many diverse tasks, like object detection or action recognition. Um, so they're a good target to try to predict, because if you can predict the representation, then you can just apply a recognition algorithm on top of them to forecast whatever you, you, you wish. 